thousands of immigrants arriving at the U.S. border each day, one of the biggest political debates and humanitarian crises of our time are underway. Some Americans feeling under siege are calling for an aggressive border crackdown. In Southern California, hundreds of protesters even blocked buses carrying migrants. I am disgusted at uh, women and children being used as pawns in this bigger picture. You know, yeah, we got to get a handle on immigration, but you got to stop giving them a reason to come over. You know, everybody knows you just got to throw up a wall and maintain that wall. At the same time, others are demanding that the bus people be allowed in. I am protesting against those who are protesting against the immigrants because the immigrants are the ones who come to work here. We are your cooks. We are your babysitters. We are your gardeners. We are your construction workers. We are the people who work. Away from the heat of the debate, most Americans want complete, comprehensive immigration reform. Not only are thousands of migrants arriving at the border, but even more are already living in the United States. Two years ago, President Obama announced a program that would allow certain young people who came to the country illegally as children to stay and work here without fear of deportation. But this deferred action program needs to be renewed every two years, marking this year the first renewal. The program is called DACA, which stands for Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. Today in Queens, dozens of immigration reform leaders held a press conference to inform immigrants about DACA. When it started in 2012, only two-thirds of those eligible even applied. There are many reasons for this, as all of our uh, organizations know. Some people either don't know about the program, some people are afraid, they're afraid of uh, negative consequences if they actually do apply. Uh, our communities need to spread the word even more about DACA. This is a really rare opportunity for our youth to come out of the shadows and to have a chance to go to school, to go to work, and to be uh, productive New Yorkers. It's not a long-term solution, but a desperately needed temporary fix for our broken immigration that helps our youth right now. Father Keating, the Director of Catholic Migration Services in Brooklyn and Queens, believes that small steps like DACA can eventually lead to comprehensive immigration reform. DACA and many of the other programs are small steps, temporary steps. I think we, we can't take our side off of really immigration reform. Um, that's going to be the larger solution. That's going to just help our nation as a whole and bring our nation together. Everybody here today hopes the president will build on DACA and extend work authorization to millions more, including family members. But so far, there is no evidence that the White House intends to do that. For Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.